Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. Today's magical video, we're going to be having a look at the memory lane, Charlie Brown's Christmas. This is Charlie Brown with his pathetic tree. Just how tall is this blockhead? Let's go ahead and take the Ultra Mesotron 5000, put it at the very top of Charlie Brown's head. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called you a blockhead. 5.4 inches is how tall Charlie Brown stands in centimeters. That works out to be 13.7 centimeters in height. Chuck gets his fair share of accessories, one of which being something that we're probably going to see a lot of, is this snowy base. You can collect all the snow bases actually together to make yourself one giant scene. I know we kind of have seen these before when we had a look at the set that came included with Sh uh, Schroeder, uh, Lucy, and uh, Pigpen. So we're going to probably see a lot of these more frequently as these reviews progress. We're going to put that right over there in the meantime. Charlie Brown also comes included with his hat, a soft plasticky hat kind of about the color of a Werther's original uh, yes nothing says Christmas and going over and visiting elderly like Werther's originals the delicious caramel snacks for the elderly I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of Charlie Brown's head it fits very snugly in place you can do the blizzard test Dairy Queen's blizzard test telling us that the hat isn't going anywhere which is good kind of different than Lucy's hat, which as you can remember, just flopped all around on us. The other thing that P uh, Ch Pete, Charlie Brown, thank you. The other thing that he comes included with is pathetic tree. No, I kid you not. That's actually what it says on the packaging. They called this the pathetic tree. I suppose it is somewhat a pathetic tree. Poor Charlie Brown does his very best. It just needs a little, ho it just needs a home, I think is really what he claims about this particular tree. The tree, of course, has the one single ball on the end, which ultimately causes the tree to topple over. And Charlie Brown proclaims everything he touches gets ruined. So poor Charlie Brown, don't worry, his friends come along and fix that tree up. The tree, in the meantime, as you can see, stands atop of two wooden uh, boards that are, you know, attached together. They're not going to be, of course, removable here. The here, it's plastic and a soft plastic to boot. Somehow, through the magic of animation and the magic of Christmas, the gang, Charlie Brown's peanut gang, can somehow take this tree and turn it into something spectacular. And the folks over at Memory Lane also does sort of the same thing. You get two halves of a much nicer looking tree that you open up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've already kind of started doing that already. Just go ahead and take the two halves, put the two halves together and uh, you got yourself instantly a fancy looking tree. I don't know how adding decorations somehow manages to fill this tree out, and yet ultimately that's what ends up happening at the very end of the series, the end of the cartoon and everybody. It says Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. Do, 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 do. I like that the Linus blanket is wrapped around, but you can still see the bottom of the tree. Again, how this is even feasible is beyond me. But in some ways, you actually have not one, but two working trees. You can keep the pathetic tree all by itself, and you can have the much nicer looking tree put together. One thing you may see, though, is that there is a missing ball on the side in which the ball of the pathetic tree sticks out. But it's a nice little side touch. Certainly looks like it did in, this, in the uh, animated feature. It does look really nice. It's got a lot of coloring and stuff to it. I just don't know how it's possible. I really don't. Let's have a look at Charlie Brown. I'm going to keep the hat. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to second guessed myself. Let's look at it. Peter Peanuts Charlie Brown here without the hat. And then we're going to go ahead and put the hat on top. It does look like he does from the cartoon. The jagged mouth is always a nice uh, peanuts touch that they do on all their characters. Uh, he's a happy Charlie Brown, which is usually the 
quite the contrary opposite to what we normally get from Charlie Brown, at least at the very least. He feels like he's saving said pathetic tree in the background, that he's actually quite happy with himself. Of course, much like any other Peanuts Charlie Brown special, it ends quite opposite. Charlie Brown usually is defeated and his smile turns upside down. He's got some nice coloring here in the red jacket. Um, assuming based on the fact that he's going out and searching for the tree, now we can go ahead and add the hat once again. Let's try not to put it crooked. There we go. Want the little bit of hair sticking out. There we go. Presuming that he is going out searching for a tree, I'm going to guess that this is a jacket and not so much just a shirt. It has standard posability. Arms swivel back and forth. The head swivels. It actually swivels by the neck. It actually doesn't swivel by the head. Head swivels back and forth. The arms back and forth. The forearms, why don't we just go through the articulation? We're here anyways. The arms swivel. Kind of awkwardly though. I mean, they... they they swivel in the way that it gives you an elbow bend, but ultimately it just does at times look like Charlie Brown has broken his poor arm. His hands also do rotate. He has waist swivel, which is very loose on this figure. And you can also have Charlie Brown running or walking. Good luck actually getting that to happen. Walking isn't so much something that you're going to be able to get permanently on, P on <laughs> I want to say Peter Pan on Charlie Brown here. Even though he has peg holes on the undersides of his feet, what are those peg holes for? No idea, because his display base, the snowy terrain, has no peg holes, no pegs on it. So I don't really know what it's connecting itself to. I noticed also too, and you probably see it on my fingers here, moving the plastic, it has developed this sort of oily slick. Now, I've heard over time, plastic does start not to degrade, but starts to release, I guess not chemicals, but it ends up getting a little slicky. This is ultimately what's happened we here with Charlie Brown. I'm going to have to probably take myself a cloth and er, 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 clean it down. I, hopefully this isn't going to be something, an ongoing problem. But I've noticed that many, sometimes more older toys, this one is taken from 2004, by the way, which works out to be about 14 years old, coming up to 15 years old. So as a result, uh, poor Chuck is starting to get all this extra slime all over him. I wish that really wasn't the case because it's a neat looking figure. Of course, we're going to have a look at all the Charlie Brown Christmas figures. And I had to start with Charlie Brown. I mean, obviously I would be doing a disservice, even though technically I already looked at the psychiatric display set first. But the standalone figures, we'll go ahead with that and go with Charlie Brown first and foremost. For final looks, I've got Charlie Brown here sort of tree shopping like he does in the animated feature. He comes across, of course, the tree that he decides to pick, but this comes in handy for making use of the tree shell that if you don't want to display it over top of the, quote, pathetic tree, you can instead kind of have it in the background. Something is, if it's been decorated at the tree lot, Charlie Brown, of course, passes over those, getting instead the tree that he ends up picking in the feature. Um, it's a nice looking figure. It's unfortunate that he's got all this sort of slick oil that's all over the figure. This probably could be caused by some of the plastic that is now starting to release its chemicals and I hope that not be the case with every single Charlie Brown figure that we're going to have a look at on this channel but I guess the only way to find out is guys you'll have to stay tuned to all the future Charlie Brown Christmas figure reviews that we're going to have lined up for this year don't worry don't worry hey now there's going to be also other Christmas goodies under this guy's tree that we're going to open up over the course of December. So if you guys are into Christmas stuff, you may want to stay tuned for this channel. Make sure as well, hey, yeah, hit that little subscribe button down below as well. More videos, guys, will be coming your way. Don't worry if you're also not into Christmas. We will have some other non-Christmas stuff on this channel. Sort of going to sprinkle, generously sprinkle some Christmas stuff amongst other regular videos that are coming onto this channel. So there's going to be a little bit of both, so to speak. Sort of like the dining room table at Christmas night. You know, if you don't want necessarily the ham, you can go for a little bit of the turkey. If you don't want the tofu stuffing, who's going to eat that stuff? You can go with instead Aunt Margaret's chestnut stuffing, which is much more delicious. There's going to be a bunch of different stuff happening on this channel. And make sure, again, you hit that little subscribe button down below to guarantee that new videos you'll never miss out on. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.